I bet you've never thought about how your body wages war against sperm cells. The female reproductive system is an incredibly sophisticated fortress, designed to allow only the fittest sperm to reach their goal. Today, we're diving deep into this microscopic battlefield to uncover the amazing defenses that stand between millions of sperm and a single egg. Let's start our journey where the sperm cells begin theirs, at the vaginal entrance. You might think this is just a simple passageway, but in reality it's the first line of defense. The vagina is like a pool of acid for sperm. Its pH levels are so low that most sperm are immobilized or destroyed within minutes. Some sperm do survive this acid bath. These hardy swimmers press on only to face the next challenge, cervical mucus. This isn't just any mucus, it's a dynamic, ever-changing substance that acts like a smart filter. During most of the month it's thick and impenetrable. But around ovulation it becomes more fluid, forming channels that allow sperm through but not without a catch. The cervix isn't just a gateway, it's more like a series of trials for sperm to overcome. Imagine, an obstacle course designed at a microscopic level. The cervical mucus forms intricate channels, and only sperm with the right shape and swimming ability can navigate through. It's not just about physical attributes, the cervix also acts as a chemical selector. Sperm need to respond correctly to chemical signals to find their way. Those with poor motility or abnormal shapes, they get trapped in the mucus or in tiny grooves called cervical crypts. If you thought the sperm were safe once they entered the uterus, think again. Here they face a new threat, the immune system. The female body recognizes sperm as foreign invaders. White blood cells patrol the uterine lining like an army of tiny Pac-Men, engulfing any sperm they encounter. But the uterus isn't done yet, it has another trick, contractions. These subtle, wave-like movements can either help or hinder sperm. During ovulation, these contractions can actually assist some sperm, propelling them towards the fallopian tubes. By now, only a tiny fraction of the original millions of sperm remain. The entrance to the fallopian tube acts as a final bottleneck. It's so narrow that only a few dozen sperm typically make it through. Those that do enter the tube face yet another challenge, they need to undergo capacitation. This is like a final power-up, giving sperm the boost needed for the final approach to the egg. Even at the egg itself, there are more hurdles. The egg is surrounded by protective layers that sperm need specific enzymes to break through. And here's the kicker. Even if a sperm makes it this far, it still needs to be recognized at a molecular level before it can fertilize the egg. It's like having the right key but still needing to know a secret knock. From acidic moats to immune system armies, from obstacle courses to molecular recognition systems, the female body's defense against sperm is truly remarkable. All these mechanisms ensure that only the healthiest, most robust sperm have a chance at fertilization. It's nature's way of giving any future offspring the best possible start in life.